my name is Rachel and this is the beginning of a reading vlog I'm going to do for Spookathon this week which is hosted by Books and Lala and yeah let's just jump into what I managed to get read a little bit today at work. So first of all I kind of just started perusing this. I haven't really read it yet because I was at work. It's called Joe Quinn's Poltergeist by David Almond and illustrated by Dave McKean. I've never heard of this before but it came in basically like a subscription box for librarians today for our high school. Um, this was the graphic novel pick for the month and like I said I've never heard of it but it looks kind of creepy. Uh, this is definitely something I wouldn't normally pick up because it's kind of like a it's it's essentially a graphic novel but it's like mixed media graphic novel and it's very strange so far. I have no idea what's happening and yeah I would not normally pick this up and also poltergeist is kind of a creepy word so I feel like this counts. So I'm probably going to try to read that one tonight because it's super short and get it back to school for the kids to check out. And then I also read a little bit of World of Lore, Monstrous Creatures by Erin Mankey. Um, this is a reread for me, but it's our pick for the month of October for the high school book club, so I need to get this read anyway. It's got a red cover. It's kind of spooky, so I thought it would be perfect for the readathon. Um, I was able to read some at lunch, and I also have this as an audiobook, so I listen to it on the way to work. I'll probably listen to it on the way home from work as well. And maybe a little bit more tonight we'll see and those those are my reading plans for today basically I'm not really sure what else I'm gonna pick up this week I don't have like a set TBR I think I'm just gonna read what I want and see how I can make it apply so those are my reading plans mostly for this evening I don't have like a set TBR for this vlog but uh, we'll pick things up and talk about them as we go and as for right now I'm heading to my parents house I'm gonna have dinner and then uh, we'll see where the evening takes me. So I will check in in a little while. Bye for now. So mom and I decided to come to the local library. So I'm gonna take you on a quick little tour in there. It's much later in the evening. I made it home. Um, while I was at my parents' house, I managed to finish that weird uh, Joey Quinn's Poltergeist book. It was super weird. I I think it just wasn't for me. I think I, it just went over my head. But um, it wasn't really creepy. It was more about like grief and your belief system and not really about like scary poltergeist things. Um, I think it could have an audience at our high school, but I'm not sure it will be the most popular graphic novel we have for sure. Um, but I'm uh, moving on to a little bit more of lore. I listened to it on the way home. I think I'm up to page like 60. Uh, I'm going to keep reading this through the commercials, but I'm going to um, have some combos. The show I'm about to watch, which is Prodigal Son. Uh, are any of you guys watching the show? I think it's it's really entertaining. Um, it's basically about this guy who is a uh, criminal profiler whose dad is a serial killer. Very like Hannibal Lecter style. Uh, but I'm gonna watch that. I'm gonna read through the commercials when I can, enjoy some combos, and then probably go to bed early because I am exhausted. So uh, I probably won't check in again tonight, but I will check in again tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be another really long day, but I will check in then. So good night. So I just got home from work. I just washed my face off. I'm getting ready to, I mean, honestly, I need to read, but I will probably end up playing on my phone a little bit. And yeah, I've got some exciting events this evening. I'm going to go down to Joseph Beth, Cincinnati and meet Ruta Sepetis. I'm so excited. Her new book is The Fountain of Silence and I borrowed a copy from the library so I could have it read before the event tonight and I have it finished. Um, I will say that I think this isn't my favorite book that she's done but it's still really good. I gave it four out of five stars. This is set in the 50s in Madrid and is all about the effects of the Spanish Civil War and the dictator uh, Francisco Franco, I believe his name was, uh, and his dealings with Spain. And it was very interesting because I didn't know anything about the Spanish Civil War. And that is one of my favorite things about Ruta Sepetis, that she picks things that 
you really haven't heard a lot of and I feel like I always learn something from her book. So I am super excited to go meet her tonight. Uh, so pumped. So I'm going to be heading out a little while. We're probably going to grab some dinner down there and um, listen to the little talk. Hopefully get book signed. Super excited. So um, besides that, I'm just planning on reading some of Lore. That's what I'm into right now. I got a little bit read at lunch and a little bit read um, on the commute today. Not a ton. I'm probably up to like page maybe 100, but hopefully I'll get more of that read tonight. Um, I don't know how much vlogging I'm going to get in tonight, but I will try to do a little bit uh, around the bookstore. And yeah, that's the update so far. So stay tuned for some images. I will definitely show you my, all my books signed tomorrow. Uh, I'm super excited and yeah, I'm going to go hopefully read. I'll probably end up playing on the internet, though, if I'm being honest. Hey, guys, we're at Joseph Beth now. I can show you around a little bit, maybe. The event's going to be back here. It's going to take place. I'm super excited. Here, I'll do a little whirl. We're in, like, the mystery section right now. The YA section's back there. And there's like a whole upstairs too. So super excited. Let's go get our book signed. So it is now later. I am home from the event. It was amazing. She was so fantastic. I got all of my books signed and I had an arc of one of them that I was able to get signed and I'm going to do a giveaway at school and I'm so excited because the kids really enjoy her books as well. And I'm just so pumped. It was so fantastic. I had a fantastic time. If you have not read Aruta Sepetis, Sepetis, I never say her name correctly, but if you have not read Aruta Sepetis book, you need to go do that. They are really, really great. The thing that I do love most about her historical fiction is that it's, I feel like it's easy to get into. It doesn't feel like it's an overwhelming read. It, it feels like it's easily accessible even though it's really heavy content it's just easy to get sucked into these books and it's always something that you've like never heard of um one book is about a maritime disaster that was bigger than the titanic but i feel like no one has ever heard of um the one that uh she was promoting today fountains of silence is about uh, a time in Madrid uh, post-Civil War that I'd never heard about. Like, I just don't hear about these things in history. And it's so fun to hear different stories than always hearing the same stories about history. So definitely go check her out if you haven't. She's fantastic. She was just the sweetest person. I, I'm just even more of a fan now that I met her. But anyway, uh, I have gotten nothing read tonight, but it was a big reading night. So I'm going to chalk that up to a win. I probably will read like a little bit of lore tonight, but basically I'm going to get a little bit of a snack, watch a little TV and try to kind of wind down from the excitement of the evening and try to get ready <laughs> to go to sleep because tomorrow I'm going to be at one of the elementary schools helping to run the book fair, the Scholastic Book Fair. And it is, <laughs> while it's so much fun that the book fair is there, it is not as much fun to run it with the littles because they can't count their money. It's kind of hectic. So it'll be a hectic day, but uh, more bookish stuff tomorrow. And then um, tomorrow night I have some dinner plans with a friend, but then I should have a little bit of time hopefully tomorrow to read um, in the evening. I probably, I probably won't get much time at lunch tomorrow to read. So I don't know how much I'm going to get read at all during the week, but I have a long weekend coming, which will be really nice. So I'm going to wind down tonight, maybe read just a little bit more and then we'll see, uh, tomorrow after work, we'll see what I can get done. So Good night for today. Good morning. I am at work and I thought I would give you just a quick little run through of the book fair because I know people love scholastic book fairs. So let's take a little walk around.
So first we have some Pick the Pug, which, oh my gosh, I love these. And Thelma the Unicorn is one of my absolute favorites. I love Aaron Blaby. He is fantastic. Uh, How to Catch a Unicorn, How to Catch series is really, really big. Those are a lot of fun. There's a new Aaron Blaby called Don't Call Me Bear. It's about a little koala who doesn't like to be called bear. And of course we have Dog Man, super, super popular. And The Bad Guys, these are by Aaron Blaby. I own these myself. I love these. I talk about them all the time. We have Guts, the new Raina Telgemeier. I read this one already and it's really good. If you enjoyed Smile and Sisters, you will enjoy Guts. It deals a little bit with anxiety issues, so I, I think it's an important read too. Of course, we have Cats and Underpants, a huge deal, and we have some Harry Potter. Diary of a Wimpy Kid, another huge sell. <clears throat> Narwhal and Jelly, which is one of my favorite ones, which I really love. We have this Beyonce biography, which looks adorable. The I Survive books are huge. These are huge. These are really fun historical reads. The big selling scary book this season is The Forgotten Girl, which I may end up getting because I kind of want to read it. It looks pretty creepy. We have one of my favorite children's books. This is We Don't Need Our Classmates. It's absolutely fantastic about a little dinosaur that goes to kindergarten. And then we also have the new pigeon book. This is adorable. If you haven't read the pigeon series, you absolutely need to. The last Rex is the Scarecrow. It is so aesthetically pleasing right now. It's amazing. Uh, it's really cute about a little scarecrow that bonds with the little crow. It's so cute and perfect for this time of year. And then of course we've got all the posters hanging behind me. So there you have our little tour of our Scholastic Book Fair. I'm getting ready to go sell some books. So I will check in a little bit later this evening. I just got out of work. I'm caught by a train, so I thought I'd just catch you up really quick. Um, oh my God, I'm exhausted. What a day. But we got some books to the kids, which is what's important. And of course, I found some. So the first book that I read is one I read for review a while ago, and I wanted a physical copy, and that is Front Desk by Kelly Yang. This is an adorable middle grade book absolutely loved it so I picked it up the other one I got was the forgotten girl this is by India Hill Brown and this is like a scholastics new creepy book for the season and I am really excited for it I've heard some good things so I picked that one up as well um, I did a little bit of reading today of lore at lunch uh, let's see what page I'm on I think I'm on page like 175 so I'm gonna um, listen to that on the rest of the way home and read a little bit of this um, when I get home, I am going out to dinner with a friend, um, so I'll read that until uh, we meet up and then maybe a little bit more this evening. I'm hoping that tomorrow evening I can finish lore um, and then start something new for the weekend. Those are the plans, so we'll see how that goes. So uh, I'm going to listen to this for a little bit more and then maybe read some more when I get home and then uh, we'll, we'll check in maybe after dinner tonight. So. We'll see how it goes. So I'm back now from dinner. We had a really good time. We went to the Cheesecake Factory. It was delish. Um, and I ended up on the internet for a while. I had a few little things I needed to check on and just a few things I needed to work on basically. So I got all that done. I got in the shower and now I'm gonna sit down and have uh, a quick little snack and read a little bit more of lore tonight. Um, like I said, my goal is to hopefully finish it tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I think I'm gonna watch a little bit of TV, read a little bit, have a quick little snack, and then go to bed because I'm exhausted. But the good news is I, um, I have work tomorrow, but no big plans tomorrow night. I'm going to go out um, to dinner with my dad and that is about it. So hopefully um, we might even read together a little bit after dinner and uh, then when I come home I'll read some more, hopefully get this finished. And then the good news is I don't have work on Friday. I'm so excited. We have the day off. Um, so hopefully I will get into another book on Friday and we'll see how that goes. So for tonight, I'm just going to read a little bit and then go to bed because I do have to get up early tomorrow. But it was a very good day today. I got some reading done. I bought some books. 
it's a win-win. Hello guys, I just got back home. It's pretty late in the evening. I ended up spending most of the evening with my dad. My mom had plans with her friends, so my dad and I decided to meet up for dinner. We got some pizza and then we just kind of hung out. We just ended up reading and watching TV for most of the evening, so I got all of Lore finished. This one is now complete. Um, and like I said before, it's a reread, so it was nothing new. I enjoyed it just as much as I did the first time. I gave it four out of five stars. I think the information is just so fascinating. I don't particularly like Aaron Mankey's voice uh, and his writing style, but I love, love, love all the information in the story. So I will keep reading lore. I love those books. Um, fantastic. I can't wait to see what the kids think about it for book club too. I'm hoping that they like it. Um, I try to pick some interesting nonfiction choices for us and, uh, yeah, this was our nonfiction pick for the year. So I hope they like it. Um, next I'm going to be starting two books. Uh, the first one I'm going to just kind of dip in and out of, I don't anticipate finishing it at all this weekend. And that is, uh, His Hideous Heart. This is edited by Dahlia Adler. It's 13 tales of Edgar Allan Poe's most unsettling, um, stories reimagined and it includes the original stories I believe so I'm hoping to like pair them together like read the original then read the reimagined version and like I said I'm just planning to kind of dip in and out of this uh, I do not plan to get this finished this weekend um, but it's perfect for Spookathon, I feel like. Uh, this also has red on the cover, so it would work for that. And hideous, I feel like would be a good, like, spooky word, maybe? Or heart, possibly. So unsettling is in the subtitle so this would work for any of those things um, but the the other one the main one that I'm going to read hopefully most of tomorrow is in the hall with a knife by Diana Peter Freund I'm so sorry if I butchered your name uh, it's a clue mystery it's like clue reimagined uh, with teenagers I don't remember if they're like trapped in a cabin or if they're like away at a boarding school. I don't remember. But I heard about this and I immediately went and bought it. I had to read it. I'm so excited to pick this up. This is going to be my thriller pick for Spookathon. Notice it also has red on the cover. And I feel like knife is a pretty spooky word, so it would work for that as well. But I'm super excited. So um, I'm not sure which one of these I'm going to start this evening, maybe. I might even try a little bit of both, but... Um, it is Thursday night and New Impractical Jokers comes on. I love that show. So I'm going to watch the New Impractical Jokers here in a minute and get like a little snack. And then uh, I'll probably read a little bit uh, later than I normally would because I don't have a school tomorrow. I'm so excited. And yeah, those, those are the plans. Good morning. I had an amazing night of sleep. And it was absolutely fantastic. Anyway, I'm finally awake. I slept in way longer than I anticipated this morning. Last night, I dipped into His Hideous Heart a little bit. I got the first original story and the first retelling read. The original Poe story that I read was Metzingerstein. And then I read the Kendara Blake retelling. Uh, she wrote A Horse of Fire. And it was okay. Um... It was okay. So I'm looking forward to maybe getting into at least one more of these today. Um, like I said last night, I think what I'm going to do is read the original one first, and then I'm going to read the corresponding story and just like go back and forth throughout. So I'm hoping to get at least one more pair of stories in uh, today, the original and then the retelling. And then I really want to pick up uh, In the Hall with a Knife, A Clue Mystery. Um, besides that, I don't really know what I'm going to get into today. I might be having dinner at my parents' house and I think I have a book on hold at the library. So I'll probably stop by there and yeah, that's really all I have planned for today because I have today off, which I'm super excited about. Um, so I'm going to grab some breakfast and then probably dip into a little bit of reading and then I will check in in a little while. So it's a little bit later. I just made it to the library. I stopped. Uh, we have a drive through at the one by my house, which I absolutely love. So when you just have a hold, you can just literally go through the drive through and pick it up. Um, I got Coraline by Neil Gaiman because I've been thinking about reading this um, this Halloween season. I'm not sure, though. 
Um, I've never read it before, and that's one of the ones that I feel like I should read because I do typically enjoy Neil Gaiman, and I've heard this is really creepy, and this might be something that my students would enjoy. So I would like to maybe get to that at some point this season. And I also picked up another version of The Two Truths and a Lie. Um, these are really neat. I read one about... Um, I think it was called Histories and Histories, History Mysteries or something like that. This one is called It's Alive. And basically what they do is they break it into like eight or nine chapters. And each chapter has three stories, three like nonfiction essay stories. And two of them are true and one of them is a lie. And you have to figure out which one is the fake one. And I think these will be really, really fun for my students. And I really enjoyed reading them and trying to figure out uh, which one was true and which one uh, was not true. But anyway, I picked the next one up. Um, I probably won't get to these for a little while because um, I've got plenty of reading to do already. But again, as I mentioned earlier, today's plan is to read a little bit of His Hideous Heart and to get started and hopefully a big chunk read of in the hall with a knife. Um, I am currently sitting outside my parents' house. I am going to basically spend, I think, most of the evening here. Uh, my dad's making us dinner, and then I think we're just as a family probably going to sit around and read tonight in a nice little cozy setting. We might probably get a candle going, and uh, maybe we'll get the, the TV fireplace going. It's going to be awesome. Uh, but yeah, no big plans today. Just lounging and reading and just having a good cozy evening. It's been a fantastic day off. So I will check in in a little while with a reading update. So I'm checking in much, much later in the evening from bed. I spent most of the evening uh, at my parents' house. We had a wonderful dinner and then we just kind of hung out for a little while and visited and then we read some. I got a little bit more read of His Hideous Heart. I read two more of the original stories and two more of the um, reimagined tales. So not as much reading done today as I had hoped with my whole day off, but that's okay. It was super restful, super calm. It was a really, really good day off. So um, I'm debating now on if I should read a little bit more of this or if I should jump into In the Hall with the Night because I'm dying to get started with that. So I don't really know what to do. Um, I'm not going to be up for too much longer. So I'm just really not sure. I'm going to read a little bit from bed and then, um, then probably go to bed soon. So I'm thinking what I might do. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to read tonight. But I'm going to read a little bit more before I go to bed. And then tomorrow we have some fun little fall plans. So tomorrow's going to be another fantastic day. I don't know how much reading I'm going to get done, but... It's all good. It's all fantastic. So, yeah, that's pretty much all from today. Not a lot happening. Not a lot of vlogging. Not a lot to vlog about. So, um, hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to vlog a little bit at our events, and that'll be uh, that'll be fun. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and say good night for now, and I'll update you tomorrow on what um, I get read tonight before bed. So, good night for now. Good morning. I'm checking in. I didn't get too much read last night in his hideous heart but I think I've decided just to go ahead and stick with this and try to get this finished. I'm kind of, it's a mixed feeling of enjoying it not. Like I'm really interested to see how all of this plays out, but I'm not really enjoying the individual stories, if that makes sense. So I think I'm just gonna stick with this uh, today and try to get this finished today or tomorrow. And then I'll get to uh, In the Hall with a Knife because I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, but I'm gonna read a little bit of this today. We've, we have some fall activities that we're gonna go to, so I'm going to take you along today. So stay tuned for the fun fall activities today. Hey guys, it's a little bit later. I'm checking in. We're at uh, what's called the Black Walnut Festival. It's just a little local festival, so uh, I'll try to get a little bit of video as we're walking around. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Hold on in your hand. There's only a few left. We just left the Black Walnut Festival and I got some nice little goodies. I got some little tiny pumpkins. I have three right here in my hand right now. They're just adorable. They're so tiny and cute. And I also got some caramel corn that I can enjoy it later while I'm reading. I think we're gonna head and grab some lunch and then maybe go back and do a little bit of reading uh, before we have some more festivities this evening. So I will check back in in a little while. <laughs> from Tom's corn maze that was the footage that you just saw and here is our completed map from Tom's maze 2019 basically they have like hidden mailboxes all throughout the corn and once you find the mailbox you get a piece of the map so you start it with just an empty map but by the end you've got a full map so we had a lot of fun we made it through all of the 12 mailboxes and all the 12 places across Victory Bridge and we were pretty excited so uh, I'll check in later with a little reading update. Hey guys, it's a little bit later on. I'm finally home. It has been a long but fun day. I have gotten a little bit more of his hideous heart read. Um, like I said, I've been reading the original tale first and I think I've read five one, two, three, four, five Poe originals, and I've read four of the retelling. So I'd like to at least get that last retelling in. Um, I think the Purloin Letter was the last one that I just read. And yeah, I'd like to read the retelling of that definitely tonight. And maybe one more pair, but it's pretty late and I'm getting pretty tired. So I don't know. I don't know. Because I'd kind of like to just veg out a little bit and watch a little television and maybe eat a little bit of my caramel corn that I got today. I've got a nice little fall aesthetic set up here next to me and I'm loving it. Let me show you. I got my book, I got my candy corn, I got my little tiny pumpkins that I got today, and my crisp fall candle. I'm just loving it. And also, I forgot to show you that I painted my nails yesterday. I got this nice little like fall orange and I'm loving it. I'm living my best fall life today. So uh, like I said though, I am pretty tired. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a break and definitely read the last, um, the last story that I wanted to get to today in His Hideous Heart, but then I'll probably go to bed. So um, tomorrow I'm hoping for the last day that I can get a big chunk of His Hideous Heart done, but that's probably all I'm gonna get to for the rest of Spookathon because tomorrow is the last day uh, of the readathon and of this vlog. So hopefully tomorrow I will have a good update for you uh, for his hideous heart, but I really have no exciting plans tomorrow. I got a couple errands and maybe dinner with my parents, but besides that, I'm gonna try to get some reading done. So if you don't hear any more from me tonight, I will talk to you in the morning. Hey guys, it is the morning of the last day of Spookathon. So I'm checking in now. I got up this morning and did my errands to get ready for the week. And I had some breakfast and just kind of relaxed a little bit this morning. And uh, update on my reading from last night, I have officially made it through uh, five of the original post stories and five of the retellings. Uh, there's 13, so I still have quite a ways to go, but I'm hoping to get some reading done today. I don't really have too much going on, but I think I'm going to start editing this vlog because I think I'm already up to like at least a half hour of footage. So I'm gonna edit a little bit and then get back to reading and I will check in in a little while. So I've been failing today at vlogging. I haven't really done much, so I guess it just never occurred to me to vlog at all. But basically, since my last update, I watched a little bit of TV, 
Um, I went over and had dinner with my parents. We watched a little TV. I read a little bit more of His Hideous Heart, and that's been pretty much all that's happened now. I'm home, and I'm getting ready to watch Bob's Burgers, which is what I do every Sunday. Um, my update for my book, though, I will say that I've read... Let's see. Let's go to the table of contents here. I've read one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, I've read nine of the original tales and I'm working on the ninth reimagined tale. And so far I'm really underwhelmed, I have to say. I don't know. I don't know. I, I want to keep reading. I want to read this book, but I'm just kind of like eh with it right now. So... I'm hoping tomorrow though I'll be able to get this finished and finally move on to In the Hall with a Knife that I've been wanting to read all week. We only have a few hours left. I'm not sure how much more I'm gonna get read. I know I'm definitely not gonna get this finished. I figured I'd go ahead and just wrap up this vlog so I can get it posted uh, tonight. So let's go back and look at what I read and do a little wrap up. So the first thing that I read was Joe Quinn's Poltergeist by David Almond and uh, Dave McKinnon. And I gave this, I think it was two and a half or three out of five stars. It was just okay for me. Didn't love it, didn't hate it, didn't quite understand it. But that's where we're gonna leave that one. <laughs> I also picked up, oh, and by the way, this met the challenge for Spooky Word and the title, Poltergeist, and something I would not normally read. I would never have picked this up uh, if it had not been for Spookathon, probably. I might have, but I wouldn't normally pick this up and read it, so we're gonna count it. Then I did a reread of The World of Lore, Monstrous Creatures by Aaron Mankey. This was for um, a, my high school book club. I really thoroughly enjoyed this. I love all of these books. I think the, the history and the stories are just so interesting. Uh, I absolutely love it. This definitely counts for red on the cover. I think spooky words too, because it's got lore and monstrous and creatures and it's definitely got a creepy cover. So I think that counts. It might count for a spooky setting, maybe, not sure. Uh, and then obviously His Hideous Heart, which I'm not completely finished with. This is edited by Dahlia Adler and this has red on the cover. It's got a creepy word, hideous, I think is kind of creepy. Heart's kind of creepy. Um, it could be a sp spooky setting. Some of the stories are in a spooky setting. Um, but yeah, none of them are really, I would consider a thriller, but that's okay because I have several thrillers on my list for the next two weeks before Halloween. So I'm going to get to a thriller. Don't you worry. But overall, I'm not too uh, disappointed with my reading. I think I did pretty well considering I had work all week and I had a lot of activities going on in the evening. So I'm pretty proud of myself, happy with my accomplishments, and yeah. A successful spookathon, I think. So, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed coming along with me for my week long adventure, and I will see you again in another video soon. Bye for now.